All right, guys, what's up? Good morning. Welcome back to another episode of Bindi Bang Fishing. Man, happy Juneteenth day. We are out here on a beautiful Wednesday, just out fishing. And uh, I'm going to try the minstrel with uh, the forward facing sonar, live scope LVS 34 point of view. And exactly what are we using, guys? This is the NRX Plus 822 DSR 610 Extra Fast Medium, Mag Medium. And this is the Shimano Twin Power 3000 size, eight, no, 10 pound braid to eight pound FC sniper. And I love this combo for uh, mid strolling. So we're gonna try to see some fish on live scope and hopefully we can catch some fish and show you guys how the technique is done. But uh, most importantly, first of all, let's try to catch some fish. The hardest part about this is looking at the live scope, but then looking at it and then seeing a freaking camera. That's gonna be the hard part. So right now we're in 16 feet of water and we are approaching a weed line. And uh, what I found so far about this bite is that it's either it's on or it's not. And the fish usually lets you know if it's on or not right away. If it's on, it's really on. If it's not on, you just don't get bit. The hardest part about this is lining up your cast too. You guys can see my setting here. I like it at 68% and I also like it at right under 100. Is that a fish suspended out there? Or is that a weed clump? It's right at 90 feet. I think that's a weed. Some type of vegetation. It's too straight up. See that thing, that mark suspended out there. 90 feet. Now it's at 70 feet. I don't see my bait by it. Oh yeah, that is my bait moving. It must be some type of panfish. See? It must be some type of panfish. Just suspended out there by itself. See, that's a fish right at 50 feet on the bottom. I think so. There goes my bait coming in. Oh yeah, most importantly too, the lure. What I'm using right here guys is a 3 16 ounce range roller. And I'm using a Depths Sakamoto Shad. This is a six inch version. And the colors, I don't really know. I seem like one day they like something better than the other, but it just seems like it just depends on the mood of the fish. One, two, three, four. Kind of just count it down. Right now we're only like in 11 feet of water. And um, you kind of just have a steady retrieve like this coming in. Kind of like you're working like a top water. And sometimes I pause it to let it sink down. That's a fish down there. 60 feet, 60 feet down. My bait is approaching it. I'm just gonna dance it right over its head. It's coming up. It's right on it. See, I think these are walleye. Those are kind of walleye y The ones that I've seen kind of like that are walleyes. I 
a little bit be off the beaten path. There's some weeds now. There's some little critters at the bottom. But we're gonna just cast right over there into the weeds, see if we can draw a fish out of the grass. Cause sometimes you can't see the bass. And they just bite. Because you know bass they're so in the grass. That's a big fish right down there. Hopefully that fish cooperates. There's my bait coming in right there. Right there. right behind it whatever it is it's big I don't want to eat it though right underneath the boat that looks like a pike I'm yeah, good on that I don't want to catch a pike bass on live scope is definitely more of a blob though I don't, I don't think I want to do that. That's so stupid. This one. Fighter. A fighter. Choked it. Two pounder? Two, three, one, fish number one. This reminds me of when you fish like a little gulp minnow for crappies and stuff and just catch bass. Exact same thing. Bigger profile, that's about it. up again big in big in three pounder oh yeah nice one
come out of shed. Just casting it in front of me. Letting it soak. Just jig it in. Even without using live scope. It works. Just gotta visualize it. Broke my shadow. Two pounder. Oh, it feels so big. Oh yeah. Three, the smallest of the bunch. Baby. Small one. Oh yeah, baby. Oh, oh baby guy. I'm tired of killing through all my stuff in my shit, bro. I wonder if I can do that. Breathe right. Freaking pike. Freaking gator, dude. <clears throat> Ned rig time. Drag sucks in the van for it. Ned Rig. 
Seems like a decent one on the Nedry. Oh my gosh. This is like a five. <laughs> this is the freaking tank on the net rig. Oh, that's a four. <laughs> I even said a five. Definitely look big compared to the fish I was seeing today, though. Three, two, one. Got him. Yeah, I knew they were all big. This is a big one too. Another three pounder. Look at that dude. Freaking tank. There you go. Fish number five. Uh, three pounder, I think. Yeah, it's still hot. Two point six six. Fish number five. Thirteen point two seven pound bag. Eric, you know I I thought I I thought I knew that was you. The tracker and the Honda engine and the all tracks. I'm like. That's a really clean tracker. I think I might know who that is. Is that Eric? I'm not sure. I was fishing. Few good ones. Yeah, I caught them pretty okay right there too when I saw you guys catching them. Yeah. yeah. Oh yeah. It, I know that for sure now. Oh, you caught that seven pounder out. Yeah, this is right over there. Right. Literally where the other boat was. It was all random. I tell you that. No, that's why when I caught that big seven pounder, I just knew how lucky I was because it's not like we were catching like fours and fives and six pounders. It was just like two and threes, two and threes, and then boom, a seven pounder. I'm like, what? Usually how it happens. <laughs> Unbelievable, right? That's crazy. Yeah. We're going to go try some more spots. Okay. Well, good luck. It was good seeing you, Eric. Yep. See you later. Take care. Damn. Just feel biting. Fighter. Probably the biggest of the day. Oh no. Got him through the roof of the head. Three pounder. 3.39. That calls our fish number three. 14.48 There you go Looks pretty big yeah. Oh Suspendo 
That was my fault on that fish. right here holy shit this bite is better right here This is loaded with fish. Man, how am I supposed to go home when fish are biting like this, guys? You don't, that's the thing. Any bugger. Nope, everything fucking works. Every color works. Every single color works, man. Good to know that. Oh, man, just can't stop the fish from biting, boys. <laughs> this color doesn't matter. They will bite, and they will have to bite. Holy shit, that's a big one. That's a big one down there. I like to... Uh, you always want to try to intercept the fish. That makes sense. Eat it. Stop action, man. Hard to leave when the fish are biting like this, guys. Oh. Oh. Seems to be just smaller fish now. There goes that guy. These are so easily ripped. I'm gonna have to mend that later. I'm mending all of these too, you guys don't know. Mend it is a bait plastic welder. Not really too sure of the science, but that's what it does. The funny thing was that I told my wife that I was just gonna go fishing for a little bit and I'll be back before they wake up. I'm pretty sure they're awake right now. And I'm just waiting for a call and I gotta head the hell back home because you know it's just when you give them a time, you have a time now. 
Come on, eat it. There you go. Got it again. Fish are freaking biting like crazy, guys. Like every single cast. It is fun. Just a bunch of one pounders. Just don't know when all the bigger fish are gonna come through or if they ever will come through, you know? Dude, this is a fatty. This is like the same build style as that seven pounder. <laughs> what? Look at that, dude. It's like the fattest one pounder I've ever seen. <laughs> wow. Freaking. One day is gonna be a nine pounder. Just crazy, dude. Just counting down to six and retrieving it in. I'm working basically just some rocks, shallow water, nine foot of water. Just casting and reeling it in. And yes, I do see fish like bass swim around on live scope. There you go. Just a baby. Oh, it dinks now. One pounders for days.